What's up, party people? Android stud here, and today I have the essential phone, and I wanted to go through the latest Android P. This is Android P Beta 2. As we all know, this is the third version of Android P on the essential phone. They had the developer preview, then they had the Beta 1. Now this is the Beta 2. Now this comes with the security patches for July. Also, it has an update for the Android Auto stability fixes for that, so that can get working. Also it has the latest Google Android P code integration as you see there i'm installing this now we're going to do a little walkthrough on it as we all know um android p uh, is on the essential phone um the beta one was a big improvement over the developer preview runs a lot faster a lot smoother um now if you want to install this you're going to have to take a look at the essential uh developer development page there i'll leave it down in the description if you want to install it um but if you're already running android p beta you'll get this over the air and you'll be able to install it the way i'm installing it now um but it looks like they're getting closer to the official android p for the pixel and the google phones but so this is a great news so we're getting closer to it being official on the essential phone so i'm going to go ahead and install this and then we'll take a little walk through next All right, so we're installed. We have the Android P Beta 2 on the Essential Phone. And one of the things I didn't notice, and I didn't notice this on Android P Beta 1, is when you pop up your cards through the gestures, it's, you swipe to, to the left now. I thought before you went to the right and you got your cards this way. But I could be wrong. Um, I could be, uh, you know, just my uh, my my <laughs> bad memory, maybe. <laughs> but um, that's the one thing I did notice. Um, as I said, you know, you have the latest security patch. Uh, let me show you here. I know I have it here somewhere where I have the the security patch. Uh, I believe it's here. If not, we're gonna go into it. We're gonna go down to system, then we're gonna to go to about phone. And as you could see, you have the Android P, or Android 9 now, not P. And there you go, July 5th, 2018, Android security patch. And this is the Android P beta two. Um, I don't know if you guys can, yeah, you can see that now. A little bright, uh, I apologize. Sometimes I have to adjust the camera for you guys. I give you the real raw video. There's no pretty cuts here, <laughs> but um, I mean, it has a lot of the similar stuff. I mean, you have your gestures here where you got your cards horizontal, which is, you know, and uh, the one thing I will say on the, the initial um, Android P, the developer preview, it was very buggy. Now it's very smooth. Obviously, it's not as good as a Pixel, but it runs pretty good. I do use this phone as a daily phone on Android P Beta 1, and I would probably use it on Android P Beta 2. Uh, one of the things they did improve was the Android Audio. Android Auto, they fixed some of that stuff up, so I'll be testing that out on my car. Also, um, as I said, it has the latest security patch. It has the um, Google Code integration. Um, on the phone uh, when you swipe down on your notifications you get that cool little look where you, everything is kind of very very nice and laid out the one thing I don't like about Android P beta 2 or 1 I don't know what they did with the brightness but I used to set my brightness there on my central phone and it would still be bright now it is super low I'm gonna drop them a tweet because I just don't get what the deal is there I don't know if I got to do a factory reset on my phone or what um, but I have to crank it to probably 70 or 80 percent and I don't like that um, They do add the adaptive brightness on here if you go into here and you go into Adaptive brightness you can set that there and That will basically uh, will automatically adjust to your environment and activities you can move the slider to manually to help the adaptive brightness learn your preferences, so it'll learn your your you know your your preferences and where your where the phone will 
predict where you want your brightness at certain times of the day after after a certain amount of time now when you hold down the power button on the side you still get your power off restart and screenshot there also your volume up and down or on the side you can put silent you could also go into the menu here sorry about that you could also go when you go volume down you can go into your menu there and it pulls up all your uh, your your menus for your your sounds on your volume and stuff so that's pretty cool um, trying to think what else um, not a lot of changes just a lot of of the same but just a little more just a little smoother more a little more buttery um, but like I said if you guys want to install this you can a lot of people ask me the question is it a daily driver uh, if you could deal with some of the bugs it's not going to be as smooth as Android Oreo 8.1 so you have to deal with that but it, it isn't bad it runs really good i use it as a daily driver because i'm trying it out i'm testing it out seeing where you know seeing how it flows and everything and it it runs pretty good um not gonna lie um the gestures run smooth i mean if you want to go to another app you can you're you're i mean you're you're in like flynn um and you know you want to if you want to go back and forth between um apps there on the bottom you have that little pill where you can go back and forth you know between apps so that's kind of cool um but that's basically it man um just a you know you got the new security patch android auto is in effect for you guys um and it runs really really smooth um you know if you want to go into your your app drawer you can if you want to go into um the um gestures you swipe up and you have them all there you go to your recent apps you want to go to the app drawer you swipe all the way through and there you go you have all that so there's a lot some cool stuff i mean it's not as built as the pixel one that has the adaptive battery and has some other features i don't think that the dark mode is on this one i could check here and see if there's something on themes Let's see. Oh, yeah, you got dark here. So let's see if that does anything. Yeah, that's about it. If you guys want to hit me up, um, you can follow me on Twitter at Android Stud. Also, Facebook, Google Plus, and Instagram. Uh, mostly on Twitter. So if you guys want to check me out there, you can. That's where I live. Um, but I'll be ch I'll take your comments, whatever you guys want to do. Um, and that's about it, man. Uh, you can leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel, please. It is totally free. And leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys later. This is Android P Beta 2 for the Essential Phone. Go ahead and install it if you're brave. Talk to you guys later. Bye.